of everyone, this is Amateur Gamer, and I'll be returning to Amateur Modding Old World. So, what I'll be... I mean, this will be more of a conceptual than actual things being done. Because, um... I think I'm done with my preliminary changes for my unit mod. Which is basically... I added a bunch of units. There will probably still be more changes. I just want to give it some time. Um, I'm, I, I've also buffed the unique units. So all the nations have different unique units. I buffed them. You don't see that here. And right now my plan is... Why is this being implemented? That's so weird. Oh, okay, mods. Oh, so I don't always have to go through mods. Good, that, that's good to know. <laughs> so, yeah, this kind of give you an idea of what I have planned. I'm planning to add some new families to each of the nation. Probably just one. One or two. We'll see. Because um, making... So, making families is interesting. There are two main files that I have to adjust. One is family class and one is family. So in family what happened is you're basically saying this is the family. So you'll notice for example for champions right you have Assyria, Greece and Rome all have the champions. So there's there are actually I think there's 10 families. I spent last night, uh, I was really tired, so it was probably not the best idea, I probably made some mistakes. So, on a document, I actually, Word doc, I actually noted down the families and the nations that could get them. So there are statesmen, patrons, sages, clerics, champion, writers, artisans, landowners, traders, and hunters. So that should be 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, yeah. And each, each nation has access to four of those. And then in game, they are able to pick three. Uh, I did notice there's a mod that allows you to pick four of the families, but that's not something I'm going for. I'm, I'm going to add an extra family or two. Probably two. I feel like adding one is... I mean, this is less work. Well, well, we'll see how far it gets. That's why this, this one's conceptual because I haven't started yet. But even these conceptual things take time to figure out. And so earlier I said families... Uh, I mean family file allows me to say... You know, Assyria also has this artisan test family, right? It has these. So one thing to note is that when it comes to these champions, hunters, patrons, clerics, they're all the same, right? So here, you know, the Sargana family for Assyria, you have champions, you have plus two training. 50% city defense, new units with steadfast, family C plus 25 training. If I go to like Rome and you look at the champions, you get the same things. So those don't change. It's just that you have different combinations. And I'm hoping that by adding one or two more families, it will make the experience more diverse. And that's where the family class comes in. Family class sets up a lot of these things, like what would you get for family cities, family seat, on sea founded, uh, city founded, opinions, and character tendencies. So what, what are common traits of the people from that family? And also, what do they prefer, right? Do they prefer this law over that law? Let's let's get into it. It's probably easier if I just have more to access than just this starting screen. The starting screen, I mean, 
a lot of the time it's the help screen that is really helpful. I know that's kind of redundant, right? So, so for example, here we have opinion, right? You have, you have tyranny minus 20, volunteers plus 20. So tyranny and volunteers are both laws. So if you have pit tyranny, you will have a minus 20 modifier. But if you have volunteer, you'll have plus 20. So there are laws. There are also, the other one is engineering. Here, I think it's a technology. I could be wrong. Engineering is... Oh no, it's also a law. It must be a very late one. I don't... Oh, here, yeah, it's... It's pretty far back. Okay, yeah, so... Right, like... Certain families, they prefer some laws over others. You'll notice that when you're picking events... Well, not picking events. But suddenly you get events where a family says... Hey, you should adopt this because they like this one better. And in addition to that, there's also there's also luxuries. So for example, this family, they would if you don't have the wine luxury, you will actually get lesser opinion for each city that doesn't have wine. And there's also Right, they look at your military. If you have the largest military in the world, you get plus 40. If you have the smallest, minus 40. Otherwise, I think it breaks even. I don't think there's... At least to my knowledge, I don't think there's an in-between point. But if I look at... The landowners, right? Suddenly you have honey. You have, they dislike centralization. They like colonization and coin debasement. And maybe they'll have cities with enlightenment, they like that. And defend the city, they like that. And they per they look at your cities. They don't care if you have the largest or the smallest military. If you have the most cities, they are going to be happy. And if you have the least, they are not going to be. So as you can see, all of these opinion preferences will differ. You have gems, you have spouses, descendants, wonders. So this is like units were pretty simple. Units is largely a numbers thing. Numbers, a bit of text, maybe add a few traits here and there. And you know, combat bonus against that. It's pretty straightforward. This is gonna be a bit more complicated. That will probably take me more time to make it work. But I'm up well I think I'm up to the challenge. <laughs> At least I'm at least I'm ready to tackle it. Let, let's just put it that way. So as I said, right now there are 10 families. And the annoying thing is, I don't think they're easily accessible. What I mean by that is that here is something where the, the help screen doesn't have it. Like, you go to families, but you have to click on these and you have to remember what these are. That's why I noted it down because it's not easily accessible. So my goal is to make... That's... So, for the existing families, not all the families have three nations to them. Some of them have two. Most of them have three. Some of them have two. So... That's probably what I'm going to aim for. If I'm making new families, I'm aiming for like three, three nations. I mean, there's also what, seven nations? I, I don't remember. I think it's seven. I don't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> um, two, four, six. Yeah, there's seven nations and... There are currently 10. Seven nations. There are what? Four. 
four families for each. So let's do a little math. So there are seven nations, and I'm not using a calculator. This math should be simple enough. Seven nations times four equals 28. So you, you need a total of 28 families, and we have 10 families, so it makes sense that two of them will only have two nations to them, and the rest will have three. So if I want to have seven nations times six right two two extra families i think will really help make things interesting that means i need 42. so if i want 42 what's the number that's divisible by 42 there's six there's seven um larger number will be 21 so that is definitely not happening <laughs> so what's the number close i mean if i make it 12 if I make it 12, 12 times 4, 12 times 4 will be 48, 48, so that means 4 of the family, wait, 6, 6 of the families will only have 3 nations to them, and the other ones will have 4 acceptable because I feel like adding one family to each is eh, I mean it, it, it adds a bit more flavor but it also doesn't seem as fun yeah I think that's what I'll do I'll add two families to each so each family will once I'm done <laughs> once I'm done which is gonna take a while each family will have I mean each nation will have six families. So it'll be this and then that. I also have to make icons. Oh, I don't look forward to that. Any artwork, I'm like, I don't like this. <laughs> Just because I'm terrible. So, six, six times seven is 42. 42, right now we have... Do I want 12? If I have 13, 13 times 3 is 39, and we'll have 3 extra. What about 14? 14 times 3, 14 times 3 is equals to 40, wait, what? Oh. There's 42. <laughs> 14 times 3. So I will need to. But so that means I will need to have four new families. And all families have three nations. Okay, that's that's probably the most straightforward. You have three, 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 three across the board. All right, four families. Now I need to figure out what I want for the families. Because the current, I mean, there's 10, and they already cover a pretty good, pretty big variety as of this moment. We have statesmen, patrons, sages, clerics, champions, riders, artisans, landowners, traders, hunters. Now, now some of these... Like for example, hunters, camps, and nets give more output. Uh, traders, more money. Landowners, more f more growth. Artisans, mines, and lumber mills, more output. A bit weird, but <laughs> okay. So the first stage is the tough part, tough part where I'm trying to figure out what are the four families. Actually, that's probably not going to be the toughest. The toughest is going to be finding the names for these families. There's two new family names for each. And I don't look forward to that. I mean, it's a bit of research, but I'm really bad at finding these things. Okay, so. We have Statesmen, which is existing one. Statesmen tend to be... Political. 
I guess it's families that want to participate in the politics and wishes to have more control. That's why you have civics and order. It does make sense. And then we do have patron. It's a little odd. Like for the people? Person. But if you look at the definition, it's a person who gives financial or other support to a person, organization, cause, or activity. They have civics, culture for specialists, 10 order per culture event. It's a bit more like development. Stages is more like wise people. Clerics is religion. Champions is more war heavy. Riders mostly like horses, camel, elephants, artisans. And some of these are really weird. Like I'm struggling to see how artisans and new siege or ship units start with ingenuity. <laughs> Makes sense. Land owners and traders and hunters. They cover most of it. And one of the clues is so we have stuff for mines and lumber mills. But none for quarries. So quarry output plus X percentage. Right? That's one of the things. That isn't covered at the moment. We have camps, we have nets, lumber mills, and mines. But what's interesting is um, go back to. So we have camps. We have camps, nets mines and lumber mills unless I should just quickly settle this all right don't care uh, I need the worker or improvements we don't have farms oh okay there's wait I don't think there's farms Landowners is more growth, but there's nothing for farms. Okay, right. These these are things that could help me figure out what my new families like. How is it different or unique compared to the existing ones? And I might be able to just figure out what I want from this. So we have mine. We have lumber mill. We don't have quarry. We don't have pasture. Which is interesting because um, actually pasture is a bit weird. And I'm not saying it in a bad way. Because pastures, pastures might not be workable because of the way they operate. Because like pastures make sense for cattle, sheep, pigs, goats. But then you get two horses. I guess it's still a percentage, right? If it's plus 50%, you'll get 0.75. So two horses, actually two horses give you 1.5 order. Yeah, I guess this could still work. So what else? Pastures. Oh, there's nothing for Grove either. Hmm. There is nothing for Grove either. It's interesting. Grove. We we have nets. We have nothing for harbor. All right. Some of these bonuses, if they do show up, they will probably happen later. Because harbor is very late. Granary is actually pretty early. Wait, but granary doesn't output. Granary give adjacency bonuses. Just like water mill and windmill. But there is that. The harbor does give yields. I mean it gives yields and it also gives adjacency bonuses. 
there is no like water heavy but but to be fair that's i mean that's why you have a choice right you you ideally have six families to pick from and if you realize that water isn't something that will be beneficial you won't pick it i don't know how the ai will pick it so. oh that's a whole different matter but i mean groves pasture Farms, quarry, those all do make sense. Just have to think of what the overall famine class they would be. So that's one thing I could approach. And there's also, for example, family cities. We have hunters, hunters, riders, and champions, plus two training per year. Artisans, plus two culture per year. It's actually no science. There's order from statesmen, plus one. There's patrons, civics, sages, civics, clerics, civics, and discontent. There's growth from landowners, but we don't have plus two science. Is that too strong? Plus two science per year. Could it be plus one? I don't know if if I haven't tested, I'm not entirely sure. These are a couple of approaches. There's also a lot of like new units gain this promotion or gain that promotion. So that's like another avenue if I do want to create new promotions. So new units, it might be specific mounted range melee new units gain X promotion right i i do think the tools are there to make new promotions using existing ones and kind of no mix and mash maybe something like that i mean there's also projects if i want to work for that right create new projects because i think certain projects are only available On completion requires it didn't say what I need for but I don't have to create so yeah I, I might create new projects which can happen so unlocks new projects which is another option where That'll be interesting because, for example, for for the one I picked, this is the hunter. They they have the hunt. On completion, you get food. Add hunt plus two culture per year. That's I I've seen uh, for existing mods. There are ones that are new projects, so I know it's possible. Now, whether or not I'm going to well, I shouldn't say that. It's, it's a bit of an unknown at the moment. <laughs> so, that is... Projects could definitely make things interesting. Let me check. The extra projects one. Is of course made by this person. There's military training, buy slaves, hire mercenaries. Wait, you could, you could gain units? Oh no! <laughs> oh, that has opened so many doors. On completion, Can that unlock something like a projects upon completing it. Allows you to. Ooh, there's even courtiers. I actually like that. Look for courtiers. I'm actually liking this. And the mercenaries. I I think I could really 
make that work. Eventually, I want all of my mods to work together, right? To be played together. So there's a lot of possibilities where maybe higher mercenaries, you'll get a specific mercenary unit. I think that'll actually be pretty cool. It'll cost civics and money. That. Oh, that just opens so many doors. I just like that. So, new new projects could be new courtiers. It could be mercenaries. I wonder if you could do like unlock a tech, a specific tech, like it's. Inaccessible otherwise. Actually, let's check. Uh, let me just go to old world reference XML files. Project. Repair governor. Actually, I need to see what sort of requires effect. I mean, there will be more options if if I'm willing to tackle the DLL. Uh, I'm not quite there yet. Effect city. Oh, these effect cities. Guild cost. Wait, no, there are projects wrecked. Effect cities. I could like gate a project behind the technology, and then once you unlock it, it would effect city. I don't think effect city is what I'm looking for. What else does it have? Effect city prereq effect player prereq capital effect player prereq. Hey, I be firing. How are you doing? How's life doing? How's life treating you? Welcome back. Capture destroy bonus city projects. I don't think effect cities have anything I have in mind. Just so you're wondering, I'm just discussing concepts for mod I'm making for the game. So pretty damn good at the moment. You, I'm, I'm okay. It's it's workable. <laughs> I don't have a damn good day yet, but I'm still hoping. So we'll see. And owner C course. Yeah, I'm I'm just looking at files trying to see what I can and cannot do. I do enjoy this kind of stuff, but for some people that it's probably way too boring. In the day of COVID, right? Yeah, I mean COVID is weird in that well, well, for me, it's weird because I've been able to work like my city hasn't gone into a full lockdown, thankfully, yet. I mean, if it gets worse enough, it might happen. But otherwise, it doesn't really affect my streaming, right? I'm, I'm still doing it in my home, so that still doesn't affect it. It hasn't affected a lot of other things, so... I mean, yeah, COVID doesn't help, but COVID hasn't really hindered me. I mean, COVID might have added a lot more competition on Twitch. That's about the the biggest impact COVID has on me so far. I hope it stays that way. Because more people are out of jobs or the city is shut down, so more people have time to stream. But otherwise, yeah, COVID is not a major factor. 
But how about you? I mean, you're doing pretty damn good, so COVID is definitely not giving you any problems, that's for sure. Back city unlock. Okay, yeah, that's family thing that I will have to tackle later on. Hmm. Yeah, I, I might have to code things later on. Well, overall, it's okay. I'll put a neutral. It's not damn good. It's not the end of the world. It's mediocre. <laughs> that's that's about the summary of it. It would be amazing if new projects can unlock new technology. Because then I can make certain technology that are only available through projects. We'll see. Well, COVID gave me plenty of problems, but the good seriously outweighs the bad. Well, that's great to hear. <laughs> that is great to hear. Hey, Cork, how are you doing? How's life? I'm doing mediocre, as I'm telling IB firing. But yeah, I mean, if if your good outweighs your bad, that's solid. Because I think a lot of people are dealing with anxiety and depression just because COVID have drastically altered their life. Yeah, good mate. Had a busy weekend. What's up? I'm just modding a game. I'm just discussing concepts about what I have for my mod, and that's about it. <laughs> there, there isn't much else I can explain here. But if you want to chat, I'm, I'm free to chat. That's a good thing about these modding ones, where I, I could just chat more often. Sorry, I can't stay. I'm really busy. Hey, no problem. We, we all have busy lives. Appreciate you for dropping by. I'll be firing. Hope your day stay, stay pretty damn good for the rest of 2020. And maybe see you next time. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Real life always comes first. Yeah, I suffer a lot myself. I took a week. Uh, not last week, but the week before. Feeling a bit better now. I've seen some mates this weekend. Hopefully it won't be months again until... Yeah, from what I heard, uh, UK is like have like raising its tiers or whatever it's called. So there are cities that are closing in on lockdown. So hopefully that won't happen. Yeah, it it sucks. Has a huge increase. Yeah, that's what I heard. Which is well, I'm. I don't know enough of your PM to agree or disagree, so I'll just stay neutral and say, sure, you're free to your opinion. I, I really don't know. I, I think a lot of us have leaders that were like, there has to be a better alternative than this, but let's just leave it at that. Trust me, super corrupt. Oh. All right. <laughs> I mean, that seems to be the case for most politicians nowadays. So, yeah, that is. I don't know. It's rather interesting. I mean, I I do notice that sometimes you stream politics where you discuss it with friends. I can't get into UK politics, so I just generally just stay away from those. But I, I'm sure. You let your opinions get known. <laughs> Civics. There is science. Training. And hunters start with iron, wood, and stone. We could have like plus X food. That just about cover it. No food. Interesting. Sixteen billion. I could never tell which is pound and which is euros. <laughs> for track and track system designed by his mates, paid for by the public, and it doesn't even work. What's this game all about? This is like a Civilization Five game, or at least it's the the concept is four X. But that's where the difference ends. 
the lead designer of this game it um uh, i mean the the head of this game it was the lead designer of civilization 4 so you'll probably see influence from there town sterling low it's okay yeah no i i don't use that so i'm like i have no clue <laughs> i mean I, to be fair, I don't even have that key on my keyboard, so I don't even know how I would type that. I would probably have to Google it, copy and paste and put it into chat, so that's why I'm not familiar with it. I only have a dollar sign, and that's, <laughs> that's, that's about all I need most of the time. Okay, got it, that's a pound symbol. Here is like an E, I think. Yeah, that's the thing, right? That that looks kind of like an E two. So, you you tell me. <laughs> uh, there's no plus fruit from any of the families. There's growth, but not food. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing, right? Because I don't use it. It's it's really hard for my brain to process it. I'm just ignorant. Don't worry. I admit to the fact I also have science on found. Uh, probably can't do much. Oh, there's not nothing for money. Okay, that's interesting. Wait, for traders, they get more money per year, but they don't get a flat amount. Oh, okay. So plus money plus food can be options. So yeah, well, what I'm talking right now is about these resources up top. What happens is when you have a settler, you can pick a family and they have different bonuses. I'm trying to make more families to make the experience more diverse. That's what I'm working on. And yeah, so sometimes finding a city will give you certain resources and I'm just trying to differentiate, right? I'm like, okay, existing ones do this, what can I do differently? It probably doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, some some of these, if you don't play the game, it's like, yep, I have no clue. Which is understandable. There's there's quite a bit of mechanics yet to get through. But overall, I feel like it's pretty straightforward as a whole. Um, So, there are ways to decrease costs of, of civics. Civics, culture, science. Don't have food. Plus food per year per population doesn't make sense. I would do like plus one f specialist. More food from first special. Doesn't make sense. For family opinion, okay, that might make more sense. Make your family happier, they're, they're willing to produce more food for you. All right, that's an option. Plus one food per year per family opinion level. I mean, I could probably do that for a lot. Six, I mean, it shouldn't be locked. <laughs> now I'm like, um, let's check the code. Uh, family class orders, orders are yields. Oh, no, this is not the right um, a Chinese states men. It's always nice when you have coding that you only need like a note, notepad plus plus, because a lot of other things are a bit too complicated for people like me all right seat found bonus seat effect city i think that's seat effect city so i need look through files of course it's not there um that would have been too convenient that should probably affect cities and yeah, they don't want to add too many 
different files. Let me see. It. Connected. Wait. Back city connected. I need to look for back city family. Copy that. Let's find it. There. Um, back city unlocks. No, that's the Cree. Cree. Okay, yeah, there's civics. Yield rate opinion. Okay, it's just a yield, so I could do any yield. Right now, I only see civics. Per year, civics. At least for a family opinion. Population. I could do something that's very family oriented. You make your family happy, you will do much better. Otherwise, suffer the wrath of your family. Since only civics is approached here, I don't know how broken it would be. Yeah, we could always. Add it in and see what happens. <laughs> uh, iron. Oh yeah, food, iron, wood, stone, and maybe even training. Actually, that would be very interesting. Where most of your yields will come from making that family very happy. I like that. I don't know how viable it is, but maybe I'll get some people to test it. Maybe. <laughs> And and that's part of the fun, like just being able to disassemble things, put new things together where they normally don't belong, and see what kind of Frankenstein creation you create. But have very little consequences. Frankenstein would be like, yeah, I don't even remember. <laughs> but this one has a lot less. It it probably won't break the game. Worst comes to worst, no one will pick that family. That's fine by me. So we have, yep, we have projects. We have unlock. Actually, gain certain projects is another option. Right now, we only have treasury one. That's, I mean, there might be another one. I mean, there's also gain certain units. Oh, yeah. The gain. Gain. Project. I'm so glad I don't have my Word document open because otherwise it's like, yeah. I don't want you to see my horrible typing and all the typos I make. We have per culture level. Oh, wait, no, that's event. I can have plus yield per culture event. That could be interesting because you only get the four, no, three, three culture events. When you go from weak to developing, developing to strong, and strong to legendary. Yeah, that's three. Because there are four culture levels, and it's only when you enter a new one new culture level do you get a culture event so that may, might be like short verse of resources um hurry projects then there's also urban specialist resource cost i think there's an urban Specialist resource cost, but not for rural. So that could be something I could approach. Cheaper rural. There's faster training time, but there's no cheaper ones. Perfect. I'm just looking at my options. And then it's time to mix and match and figure things out from there. I could have rural specialists. And I could probably have like urban faster training time. I might not use all of these. But the ideal case, the ideal case is that 
I'll have more than I need. So, <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Actually, having faster urban specialist train time would be amazing. When you think about it, because urban specialists, since they come in three levels, yeah, that's actually something that could be pretty solid. I definitely would like to see that. Um, can buy tiles. Oh yeah, there's also. I mean, there there can only be one found religion. I'm trying not to have any overlaps, but here we have game scout, game worker. What if I have like gain a slinger or warrior? Turn one. Ooh, <laughs> that is. Is that an advantage or disadvantage? Ah. Huh. Because a worker improves, a scout explores, a unit, it consumes resources. Like you consume stone. Second seller? That'd be insane, a free settler? I would have to nerf the other ones then. Let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> That's the thing about mods, right? You, you gotta have some fun. You gotta do what is... It might be broken, but you won't know until you try it. Gain a free settler so the other bonuses will be weaker. But you'll be able to settle faster. Ooh, I actually like that. It might be a little broken, but we'll, we'll see. We we can always tinker with the other numbers so that that's very strong up front, right? You get a free seller. You're building a seller in your city, and then you go from there. I I like that. Um, what's I have? Yeah, new units unlock stuff. I actually really like the traders minus uh, 10 upgrade turns for Hamlet improvements. If I actually add more. Okay, do you want to add improvement? Ooh, that is something that is. Ooh, so many things to do and not enough time. I want to do improvements first. No, let's, let's do families. I can always add more if I want to. I mean, it, it is. I can always move certain families out of, like, make, like, if I have six families, I can always trade one of the families for this nation for another family. That, that trade should be easy enough. Alright, so I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 15 potential things I could add. I could also have more join courts, more courtiers from the start, join court rate, no, just put brackets, not merchant because that's already available. Hey, what are available? I'm pretty sure I didn't misspell it, but um, units, yields, is there a way to check here or no? Councils, chancellors, answer, builder, buy master. Is there no way to. F is that archetype? No, that's. Answer. That's a little annoying. I mean, in my knowledge, yeah, the, the help screen doesn't have everything, unfortunately. But do you know there is something like a great minister? 
let's actually make a note because I don't want to later on. Okay, so we have Great Soldier. That's one of them. Capitalize O as well. So same on me. Great Soldier. Juice Horseman. Okay, Great Scientist. There's a couple. Yeah, great great minister. And what else? That might be it. There aren't that many courtier types. Axman. Period. Yeah, you don't get courtiers. There's like merchant. Okay, great soldier, great scientist, great minister, and not great merchant. That already exists. That that already adds a couple more options. Traders get add multiple roles per year. I actually don't know how. I don't even get that many roles, so I'm like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> um, what else? Caravans. Let's look at a trader, not traitor. Trader. I know it sounds like trader, right? It sounds the same. At least when I pronounce it. First, this they prefer distant cities. Huh. I didn't know that was an option. Locks caravan. Move on land or water can conduct a trade route. I don't remember using any of these. Moves once per year to a foreign capital. Upon safe arrival, the nation receives money and an opinion. Wait. The unit moves once per year to foreign capital. Upon safe arrival, the nation receives a money. How do you have a money? And an opinion. That tells me like nothing. And is it theirs or? Caravan. A caravan requires a caravan. Yeah, um, this is a tech. Weird having. Is there a caravan? I have yet to really use it, so I'm like, I don't know. It might be here. If it's a tech, it's gonna be here. Nope, it's not a tech, so. A caravan requires a caravan. Awesome, it's like a loop that you can't get into. Because if you don't start with a caravan, you won't have a caravan. Alright. So there is that. I mean, eventually I might have certain things unlocked. That will be... Yeah, currently I can't think of things I could unlock. Like, unless I add new things, most things are already unlockable. And I don't want to change too much of that. Because then it's, it will become a pain because at that point I'm basically working with a situation where the base game has changed a lot. I mean, I I'm already changing the base game, but like my unit is small extent, right? A few, like less HP, more HP, change in strength. Maybe have this, not have that. It's minor. Whenever I start changing too much, it's going to be a very different game. Alright, we have yields for specialists. Also something. Or a more specialist focus. Plus one yield. 
or whatever. First specialist. Actually, that might work with, uh, you know, cheaper rural specialist resource cost and faster urban specialist train time. That could actually be viable. Hmm. Because right now I can't do both. I can't do, you know, cheaper rural specialists and faster rural specialist train time because they got split up. And I don't know if I want to change the existing. Maybe it'd be a little awkward. Actually, the specialist thing might work with the game settler. All right. Now, now you have to work at developing your cities the idea of the game seller one is is it's it's an expansionist approach where you want a lot of cities you want a lot of specialists in order to and things That's it for existing ones. What would I do? Statesmen, patrons, sages, clerics, champions, writers, artisans, landowners, traders, hunters. We could always have like expansionist work. I'm curious. Um. Families of the ancient world. Actually, that's probably not the right thing to check. I mean, we have statesmen. Let's just use Roman. Roman noble families. Christian. Late Republican Empire. I'm not looking for those. I'm looking for. I might not find these. These are kind of categories. I mean, hunters. <laughs> What's next? So we're going to have gatherers. Actually, gatherers probably can work. <laughs> Actually, no. Uh, I think gatherers can work for droves. But that's about it. It's so weird. Yeah, I, I don't think I could Google those. I might have to Google the names for relevant family names. But that's a whole different matter afterwards. So statesmen, patrons. I mean, we have hunters. We can't have farmers. <laughs> like the... I mean, farmers kind of work with... Kind of clashes with landowners. Landowners do get a lot of growth. Like, a lot. Actually, let's... Let's put something together and see what happens. Right. Let's let's see if somehow something will come together. I'll call it farmers because I don't I'm not great with making names, period. That is never going to happen. And family cities. Plus two. Wait. Is there a plus two food? There isn't. Yeah, there isn't. Okay. Nice. Plus two food per year. Actually, hmm. It, that's the thing, right? Growth helps you grow your cities, but they don't help you deal with the unit consumption or maintenance. Like, for example, I didn't mean to select you. 
if you have a granary, if I remember where it is, right? Oh, oh wait, no, sorry, it's the wrong one. Uh, I'm thinking of Hamlet. Not <laughs> minus two food. So this what actually allow you to get in theory a free Hamlet. Hmm. Okay, there's an option. So farmers, we have plus two food per year. I know it sounds weird, but I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? I mean, it, it does clash with landowners, but. I mean, at, at one point, you can argue that, yeah, those who grow food are more powerful. Maybe before land is consolidated. I mean, to be fair, we, we have a, we have, if I remember correctly, unless it doesn't exist. It's called like land consolidation or something like that. Sovereignty. I'm pretty sure there's one. I'm I'm not going completely crazy. Oh, I might be. Oh yeah, see land consolidation. How do you have land owners if you don't have land being consolidated properly, right? So it's like each family will be farming their own food. It'll be more decentralized. So I think there is a place. I mean, we have hunters. We have riders for crying out loud. Like, what the hell are riders? <laughs> I'm like, um... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stick to my guns. If people criticize, if they can make a better suggestion of what a name I can use, I'll take it. But otherwise, yeah, I'm, I'm go going with bummers. Let's do food each year. All right. Um, and then is it on city found? Yeah, on city found. Wait, what? No, no. On seat founded. I don't want each city you have for the family. Produce a seller. That that that's a bit broken. Let me just double check. Make sure I'm understanding it properly. Yeah, on seat founded. On C founded. Yeah, not on city founded. Got it. Okay, on C founded. In seller. And then we'll have. Minus 50% rural specialist train time. That'd be good. Did I color it or highlight? Yeah, let's just highlight it. So that actually red is probably one of the worst colors to highlight for something you don't look at anymore. Probably something like dark gray, yeah. It's a bit less visible. Plus two food per year, okay. What else do I want the cities have? I mean, I could give yields to things like granary. That would be interesting. <laughs> I mean, what do we have right now? We have more outputs. But we don't have flat yields to buildings. Maybe that's not something I want to touch at the moment. Because I'm not sure what's possible and not possible, right? I like I'm one of those models who uh figure things out by looking at existing code and trying to break it apart. I'm not someone who's like I'll just type this and that and that and voila it works. I wish, but that's not who I am. Um, so. Oh yeah, we can have farm outputs increase. Yes, yes, okay. Our farmers 
Do we normally associate farmers with uh, goats and stuff? And no, it's just like, are, are farmers and shepherds same thing? <laughs> oh, it's one of those things. It's a branch of agriculture. Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> Alright, so I have uh, farms and pastures. What's it called? Okay, plus something. Plus 20% output. So you'll get more food. And you'll get more output from those. It's a lot of food. And you can get... It should be focused on... Rural. Wait. No, cheaper... Yeah, no, cheaper costs. For rural. This might be too strong. I just feel like the seller thing is that's a free seller. That's an extra city. That is going to uh I'll figure about the I'll figure out the nations afterwards. So we have plus two food per year. Food and pastures more output. I'll have minus fifty percent specialist resource cost, and that's it. And gain seller. If if people say it's too weak, I can always add stuff. Yeah, I, I, I'm a little hesitant to make this even stronger. <laughs> I just feel like that seller, because seller means an extra city, right? This, this is a free seller you're getting. Because when you think about it, when it comes to sellers, you're gonna build this initially in your city. You will get the free seller here on Polis. There are sometimes events, those are not as reliable. Harvest resource. Is there anything I could do with harvest resource? That'd be actually pretty cool. But we'll we'll see about that. Farmers, okay. So we got farmers down, I think. All right, we have champions, pages, patrons, statesmen. Let's just call it expansionist because I am. That's what I would call it. Does it make sense to me? Probably a better term, but we'll, we'll worry about that another time. Expansionist. Expansionist will have. Sorry, just had a call with the missus. Hey, no, no problem. Real life come first. You having fun? I actually do enjoy it. <laughs> um, I'm one of those weird people that actually enjoy just figuring out how to change the game. Sometimes maybe break it, but that's just kind of me. Not not everybody likes that. But yeah, don't don't worry if you have a call. Call comes first. Real life always comes first. That's okay, you, you like what you like, I know. <laughs> and that's the thing, well, not, not that, but back to the earlier. It's like, it's, I, it feels weird to me when people apologize when they have real life stuff. I'm like, just do what you have to do. This is a stream, right? We, we all have commitments in real life. But if you must go, let's go. But the fact that you've been here even for a minute or two means a lot. 
I'm English apologizing for things in my blood. Hey, I'm I'm Canadian. <laughs> How often do you think I apologize? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm trying to be less apologetic. It it's not working out so well. I mean I'm yeah, it's it's the environment I grow up in. It's like everyone's just sorry. Yeah, snap low. I know. I'm curious, do you, do you find Canadians apologize more or you know, English people apologize more? And and the reason why I'm differentiating it is because, you know, there there are lots of Canadians who like grew up in the Canadian environment, but their parents or grandparents are immigrants, so you know, they, they never stepped outside. Maybe their parents are from England, but they grew up in Canada, so they're more Canadian influenced. Hmm, I think it's Canada and English are on par. All right, fair. <laughs> All right, let's let's not create conflicts. Let's just say everyone's equally good. Yeah, no, I. I'm trying to apologize less, but like typing, I could, you know, restrain. But if I'm talking to someone, it's sometimes hard. I, it's, it's easy for me to just say sorry. Sorry about that. Even though it's, it seems like, you know, sorry about that, I need to get through. It's not just excuse me, it's like sorry about that, I need to get through, please let me through. Something like that, right? <laughs> Yeah, same in England because it's very much cultural. Everyone packed into a small island. Very small. Hey, Sunny, how are you doing? Good evening to you. It's, it's still morning to me. Yeah, how's your evening coming along, Sunny? How's, how's life treating you? I'm just modding stuff, so it's... uh The stream itself is... I mean, the chat is more interesting than the stream. <laughs> the chat is more interesting than the stream. Clerics? Oh, there's... I mean, there's already discontent. How are you, my Canadian friend? I'm doing alright this morning. I have about, like, half an hour or so. Half an hour to an hour before lunch. So, yeah, my... My day has started kind of slow, but it's not bad. I mean, I have you, I have Korik in chat. Earlier, I had another person, so I say things are looking pretty good for the stream. <laughs> and that's the thing, when I'm modding, um, I can chat more. Like, if I'm gaming, I, I might be more focused on the game and, like, forget about the chat for a moment and, like, oh, shoot, I, I better check the chat. Or I'm doing some other things like that just chat thing I did yesterday. That's that's a bit more awkward to have conversations, I will admit. <laughs> so yeah, uh Korik uh Sunny is from Switzerland. Sunny Korik is from UK. So Yeah, that's the introduction I'll give you to. <laughs> so you're Kind of close, but not really. Yeah, that's that's a cool thing about Twitch. Like, I will otherwise not. Like, I I've had viewers from let's see, Argentina, from the states, UK, Switzerland. I even had Korean. I have a uh, Dubai. I've had Denmark and maybe some Eastern European countries. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, hi, British friend. Haha. <laughs> yes, he's up the top. It's a great platform for meeting all types of awesome people. Yes, it it is. And... I'm just modding and I get to chat, which is amazing. Because otherwise, I'll be just in front of my computer, play maybe some 
music and be like, wow, this is boring. <laughs> so let's continue to work on this expansion. This feel free to chat. I'm um, I'm open to that. Um, I'm just working on my multitasking skills. It's it's very lacking. I know this, so I need to get it working. Let's do training per year. Okay, this is probably a good one to have plus training per year per family opinion level. Make them happy and they will happily assist you in expansion. Watch out, those giants are going to smash those houses up. Are oh, these guys? Yeah. I know they're huge, right? But but to be fair, otherwise if you zoom out, you can't see them. They'll be too tiny. I mean, yeah, this is like... <laughs> this is how the world was created, by giants. And then we just took over. Luckily, our ancestors somehow survived. <laughs> I'm just enjoying my Mia while I watch the stream. Afterwards, I'm playing some League of Legends with a friend. Oh, okay. I see I got you hooked. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I got you hooked into that game. It was never my intention. Yeah, see? See, Korok, there, there are things I regret. And getting some of my viewers addicted to certain games that I don't play much is one of the biggest regrets I have in life. Yeah, I didn't Giants exist at some point, or there's evidence they might have. I think it's more like, how should I put it? It might have been the environment and the food at the time, right? The climate. Because if you remember, at, at one point there were like giant sloths and stuff. So maybe at that point, humans were able to grow larger too. And then they died off because no longer sustainable but humans are more adaptable than those giant sloths so we are our current size i mean even now you can still have someone who grows abnormally large it's just abnormal now right but, but i think we do have the genes for that it's 25 percent your fault haha <laughs> not that big though like seven or eight foot humanoids yeah no not not this big that you can just Destroy most of the city. That's my city. This is one of them. Yeah, no, it's not this big, thankfully. I mean, maybe they built Stonehenge. <laughs> that would make a lot more sense, right? If that they're that big, then carrying those stones for Stonehenge would make a lot more sense. Nice. Where's the enemy? Uh, there are no enemies yet. Like I said, I'm I'm modding. I'm not actually playing the game. But there are barbarians. There are other enemies, and they're equal size. Okay, it's not like the enemies are smaller. This isn't propaganda where you know our forces are larger and they're smaller. Everyone's the same size. <laughs> this is like the start of the game. This is like turn one. So I heard the Stonehenge stone came from Wales. Apparently, that's what I also heard, but. See, one thing that I like to believe in, other people might call it conspiracy theories or whatever. I do believe that humans were very advanced at one point in the past. And the reason why there's no evidence is, like, even nowadays, you just have to see, like, a town or city, like, modern town, modern city, be abandoned it for a decade. Nature just takes over. Like even something like cars breaks down very quickly. And before you know it, there's no evidence. Of course, that's what I like to believe. I don't have evidence. Just, you know, it's one of those things like, it'd be cool. The stones got checked and they're from very far away. Yes, they are from very far away. And they are what? They, they are precision in ways that line up with stars or something so oh yeah i don't 
have links allowed. <laughs> Sorry, Cork. You you have to whisper to me, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I haven't fixed that. Not many people post links, and, and right now there are lots of those bots that are really annoying. I don't want to give them an opportunity to post post like bad links. You know the ones that are like, oh, you want to get famous? Yeah, go to this dot com and you'll get famous. I'm like, just get lost. I mean, I, I don't say it. I just ban them straight out. <laughs> uh, let's see. As for the training per family opinion, plus yeah, plus two training. Oh, I got loads of those on my six and a half amnesia stream last night. Oh, you're playing amnesia. Actually, I think I saw you. I didn't join it because I'm a scaredy cat, so I'm like, I can't play, and I definitely don't want to watch, because I want to actually f sleep for the night, so I generally stay away from <laughs> scary game streams, period, or scary games, period. Yeah, me and Lola Burger got near the end, I think. What do you mean you think? You either get there or you died. It's more airy than scary, trust me. For f for me, sc airy, scary, close enough. It's fun for you, but I'm, I'm not in for the experience. I'm sure Sunny loves horror games. She seems like someone who will have a blast. We didn't die, but we got to where it looks like the game might end in the next hour or two playing. And I think... Wait, you say Amnesia, right? Because I think Amnesia 2, there are like few different endings. You have a what? Haha. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm just saying that you, you love horror games. Like, you love the thrill. You seem like someone who's fearless. At least that's the impression I got. Okay, not sure. Yeah, I mean, if you play Amnesia, like even the graphics seems outdated right nope haha ha. i love horror games yeah see that's the thing right for for some of you people um who are like opposite of me regarding horror games you're not scared you're more curious about what the game has to offer you might get startled now and then but mostly you like the thrill of being in this environment i'm like no thanks just keep me away from it i don't want to see it if I watch a horror game long enough, at night, I will start hearing sounds outside my room. I will hear sounds on my windows and be like, screw it, why does this have to happen to me? <laughs> Silent Hill, Dead Space, Resident Evil are all my faves. Yeah, I, I don't have a fave. They're, they're more like on my blacklist. I like intense things, intense sad, intense happy, intense horror, etc. Then let me ask you this. Would you explore an actual haunted house then, Korok? Asmophobia, haha, that killed me. While well, you're still alive, so stop lying, Sonny. Stop lying. Lying is not good. You're still alive, so you are totally fine. Yeah, I have done a few times. Oh, actual exploring haunted houses. In the pitch black. Alright. Well, Sonny, you live close enough to Korok. Maybe one day he could take you... With him, explore in pitch black. Actual haunted houses. I I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Roland's castle area. I I don't. I'm not familiar with haunted houses. I stay away from them, so I don't do research. <laughs> All right. Um, expansion is plus two training per year per family opinion level. It's okay. No worries. Yeah. I mean, Halloween is coming up, so you're you're probably doing more horror games. So sunny, I'll I'll stay with my modding and you know, non scary things. Eventually, if I have a larger audience, at at most, I'll do for Halloween is probably like carve jack o' lanterns on stream. But that's probably the closest thing I'll have to celebrating Halloween. I'm not going to dress up, it's not my style, I'm not going to do something scary because it's not me. But maybe carving something and be like, wow that's awful. 
fine with that. Halloween is my favorite time of year. Why am I not surprised? I'm curious, are you born on Halloween? <laughs> Maybe that's why. Way better than Christmas. I mean, Christmas, you have to spend money for other people, so... There is that. <laughs> right, Christmas, you're like, ah, shoot, okay, family members. I need to buy this person something and that and that and now I'm broke, my wallet's empty and I'm getting fat from all the Christmas meals I'm having. Yeah. No, I'm an August Bambino. <laughs> it's, it's close enough. It's like two months away from Halloween. You're, you're close enough. So I have training on family. That is good. And maybe I'll have like unlock unlock slavery. Project. Actually, what did this person call it? That's close days. I don't need them so far. Um, where is it? I think I scared Sunny away. I'm like, hey, Sunny, you should explore these haunted houses. She's like, I'm, I'm leaving this stream and never coming back again. Gonna get a whiskey and do some food. I think they might do a stream if Lola Burger is online. We'll see how it goes. Stream quite a lot this weekend with the political stream Friday. Then Saturday Amnesia and today a new detective game. Oh, okay. Have fun. I'll see if I can catch up. But yeah, weekends aren't like normally my streaming days. So I'm usually busy. If I can catch it. As long as it's not horror, I might catch it. Otherwise, yeah, keep me out of it. <laughs> I'll cower. I'll be like, damn it, Korok, you know I'm scared of these and you have to play this. Unlocks, actually, I think one of the laws is called slavery. Yep, so I need to change it to something. Um, I'll call it slave labor, so it'll be differentiated. It's not confused. And slave labor should be interesting. It will cause discontent. It will buy something. Probably work on it now. Um, okay. But let's use this format. Maybe I don't want to use the format. <laughs> yeah, no. Let's not use the format. Not how you copy certain stuff from pages and they have that background thing that you can't remove. Or at least I don't know how to remove it. <laughs> I'm just... Uh, I need to get smarter. But I don't think that's going to happen. Not in this lifetime. If there is an another lifetime, maybe. That's really pushing it. Okay. Bulleted. Slave labor. We'll have... On completion? I might do a one-time thing. I just have it kind of expensive, but have it just be already implemented. Plus one. So I have like plus five. Training and plus one is content per year to create some unhappiness and definitely enjoy your whiskey, Korok. Oh, wait, no, 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 oh, wait, no, that, that is different. Um, Right, that is not on completion is different. On completion you will get 
plus 50 training and plus 50 discontent and then I will have the city yeah the city oh this is gonna be yeah, implementing this should be interesting. City plus five training and plus one discontent per year. Slave labor. Doesn't slave labor generate yield you some money too? Um. I want to make it a bit stronger. Maybe a little less training. So plus three training. And then plus five money. Plus one discontent per year. All right. I think that's good. Next, I need costs. It will cost. I mean, it shouldn't cost money. We're, we're not buying slaves. We're just converting some into slaves. <laughs> oh, that sounds evil. But it's okay. It's okay. So we will need to use up training. So let's say 100 training. I say 100, not 10. I just hate it when you miss something. I mean, one digit changes a lot. A hundred training I think that's it. We're getting one discontent per year. You get five money. Actually that's a lot. Let's get plus three money, plus three training, one discontent per year, and a hundred. Uh, let's make it two hundred training. Let's make it two hundred training. What else do I need? Unlocked. Okay. Unlocked. At or just unlocked? Yeah, unlocked at. I mean, it makes sense if it's unlocked at a labor force. I mean, it's called slave labor, so yeah, that and let's make it not repeatable. There's a one time thing, it makes discontent a bit harder to deal with. They will provide you more training, more money, and just allow you to. Is it worth it? Would I build this? Uh, that's a good question. If I have, let's see, what are sources? So we have barracks and we have ranges that are plus percentage to your training. Training, we have base, we have hunter. I mean, three can be a fair bit, actually. Wait, they, they changed? I, I haven't kept up, kept up with all the changes. Was that always a percentage? I thought they just get a flat amount. So 20% of 10 is yet two. So now you're able to get even more. Did I make it repeatable? It'd be a very weird repeatable though. Let's not have you move anywhere. I might need you. If I make it repeatable, so. You're spending training to get plus two training, 
plus two money, and plus one discontent every year. You could get more money, you could get more training, but you also get more discontent. Or should I make it point five? So that you might want a couple, but you still need ways to deal with it. Let's go with that. Point. So it's repeatable. You will be going for plus two training, plus two money, and plus 0 0.5 discontent per year. And the idea is if you can handle the discontent, this will help you get the training you need to mass up a larger military. At least that's the plan. Whether or not that will happen, uh, definitely need tests. So unlock slave labor. All right. That's the second bonus in addition to plus two training per year per family opinion level and then the next one family cities so i should have like new units starts with that's the interesting thing because which one's the champion one i don't have it memorized Okay, steadfast. Oh, I can't click that apparently. Steadfast. Ah, that that is not. I mean, that's kind of useful when you, early expansion, but it becomes less useful as time passes due to the fact that there'll be fewer tribes and barbarians, so it's not as. Is there promotions? Or the called traits units. No, I don't want units. I want oh, type families and projects courses. Oh, we don't have. Is it traits? Okay, this traits got it. Yeah, I'm so it's used to Civ Five. It's all called, it's called promotions. What's war like? Oh, it's a leader. Okay, it's not. See, that's the thing. Uh, your character traits and your unit traits are all called traits. And they get thrown into one. Prestigious trait. I'm pretty sure there are traits here for... Actually, actually I'm not sure. I'm suspecting. Actually, no, maybe not. Look to be all. No, no, no. Yeah, Heckler is a. Wait, why is this a general? Like, you can actually get Heckler as a promotion. Here's. Eagle Eye. Yeah, this is a unit promotion. Giving all range units eagle eye a bit broken. Pretty strong. Because so far the other ones are like just okay. Alright. Wait, what does Hunter have? I think they have range units start with sniping. Of course I don't find it. It's not there. <laughs> it's like, damn it. Um, I could give them eagle eye. That will actually make range units a lot more dangerous. Due to the fact that they don't care about distance modifiers. They'll be able to attack at their full strength. And I guess for expansionists, it makes sense, right? Or do I want? Or do I want something that's captured? Can I marry? Can I have children? Now let's give. Let's give Eagle Eye. I feel like that might be a pretty powerful one. So I will have new range units 
start with eagle eye. So odds are if you want to expand your range units will be your best bet. I mean I, I did buff melee units in my unit mod, so don't know how that's gonna work out. Uh let's go back to families. There are some things that I'm still figuring out. Family seat, what is that? Unlocks What is family seat? Do we have that? Okay, we do have family seat. The first city given to this family. Got it. All right. That's just what I need. Um, first, first city given to this family. You will get. I want. Another project that also costs training. I think that'd be cool ha having two projects that are available to you. One is repeatable, one is not repeatable, but both use training, which hopefully you'll get plenty of. I like that. Um, what would I give? So I will have unlocks. Let's use some inspiration. So there's one that's called military training. I, I do like that. I think I'm going to do something that's a one time thing. Unlocks elite training. So only and only your capital will have this. So your capital will be producing quite a bit of military. So, I will have Elite Training, that will be the second new projects. What this will do is that on completion, do I want anything? Yeah, on completion, just give 100 training. This will cost 400 training. Uh, 300, 400 things seems like a ton. And the city will have I'll have like plus plus 33. Actually, how do they that the way they tap uh, the way they work their text matters. Um, actually, does this do? No, it doesn't speed up. Hey, that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Military training. I don't get how they make it repeatable. It's okay. I have plus 33% training. See, isn't Olympics or Olympiad? No, it just gives training. Okay. I thought I did more than that. Are there any other buildings? Like, am I just missing stuff? Probably yes, but <laughs> um, projects, council three, towers, moat. All oh, right, these are projects. They're not buildings. I do need to work on walls too. Make them a lot hardier. Envoy. Wait, what? Where is this available to? Convoy. Minus 40 discontent. That's 100. 
that's new. <laughs> that's all I'll say. Uh, elite training plus 33% training. And plus 25 experience to new units or new units. So the plan is to... Is there nothing that speed things up? I remember there is. Maybe it's like one of those citadel things. Garrison. No, that doesn't do anything. Stronghold. Citadel. Water mill. No, none of those. I need something that can be built in the city. That's one unit range. Okay, we have that. Bro. I mean, we do have laws, right? So, professional army, I think. Okay, minus something training time, got it. Minus 33 training time for all units. And plus 25 experience or 25 too little. Doesn't feel like a lot. I mean, you, you get it built. Yeah, 300 might be too much. Let's, let's make it 200 training. So that it doesn't take forever to build. Because otherwise that kind of defeats the purpose. You are so the city can produce not repeatable, and it's only available to the capital. Maybe let's get a bit more. Let's do like forty-five or something, because there's only one city. Other cities can't build it. I think I like that. Let's try it. Okay, so unlocks elite training on family seat and on city found. On city found. Join court great soldier. But that's not. Is it even good? So you get a great soldier, wait, not on city found, um, on, uh... <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, this is on seat founded. Yeah, no, I mean, I could get on city founded, that'd be quite a few great soldiers. I mean, how is it? Looking at it, plus two training per year. Get training, you get more training and some money, but some discontent from slave labor. Range units are stronger. You unlock elite training, so your capital is able to. Maybe a great soldier isn't what we need. Actually, expansionist, what's the other one? A cheaper, no. Yeah, faster urban. On seat founded. Um, what are the other on seat court? I check I do on city founded minus fifty percent. Does that work? On city founded plus four. It seems like a one thing. Yo, maybe I don't want to do it there. But we already had for a champion, you get plus 400 training on 
city founded, so I I could do a quite a different combination. So on founded or have plus one hundred training. They use iron, right? Yeah. Warrior consumes iron. Singers consume stone. Plus 100 iron. Plus 100. I mean, 100 training. Plus 100 iron. And. Let's get a plus 50. Wait. Wait, wait. Is it true? If I go to families, I need to look for Hunter. This is a nightmare to look at. Yeah, on seat founded. Okay. It is on seat founded. I just didn't copy correctly. I said I didn't lay that night, so it's only natural that I for I make mistakes. So on seat founded plus a hundred training. Plus 50 iron and plus 50 stone. Because iron and stone are. I mean, expansionist doesn't only mean war. I mean, others are, are war oriented. So maybe I'll do something like plus. Plus 50 food. On seat founded, plus a hundred training, plus fifty food. Ooh, ooh, okay, no. Yeah, I did give some order. That's for that one. Ooh, okay, that. Okay. Wait. How many? So I think you normally start with seven. That's like the default. And then you need to move this guy around. Let's say I spent. Oh yeah, this is reverse. That's why I'm like, I'm so confused. What does this mean? This means how much order I have less. Right, they, they change it lately. That, that really threw me off. I'm like, um, what? So you could have up to, through movements, you can have, through movement, you will have, uh, what, what do you call it? Through movement, you will use up four order, and then you might want to harvest, whatever. Let's just give you 10. So, it'd be 10 order, 100 training, and plus 50 food. The food will be used towards either another settler or whatever, and the order will allow your first scout to play a very valuable role of exploring a lot more. But there, I, I got two families, at least. Wow. I don't know if they're balanced. <laughs> That's actually decent progress. Lucky at the time, I will be ending the stream here. So I want to thank everyone who joined me. Appreciate any support, it means a lot. And next time when I stream this, which will be next weekend, so next Saturday, I'm hoping that I will have something that is more concrete. Like I'll be doing some more coding to hopefully make it work. But we'll see. Anyways, I am going to end the stream here. Thank you everyone for watching. And I hope you have a good one.